the earliest records of the use of gold in medicine come from Alexandria, Egypt. More than 5,000 years ago the Egyptians consumed gold for bodily, mental and spiritual purification. The ancients believed that gold in the body functions as a stimulator of the vital force and accelerator of vibrations on all levels. The Alexandrian alchemists even created an elixir made of liquid gold, convinced that gold is a mystical metal representing the perfection of matter and that its presence in the body would revitalize, rejuvenate and cure a multitude of diseases, or restore perfect health. From the book Transylvanian Sunrise written by Radu Chinamar, we learn that in 2002 one of the Pentagon's geostationary satellites, spotted a mysterious structure inside the Busegi Mountains. In 2003, with the help of a very advanced technology, it was possible to penetrate inside this mysterious structure, apparently built by an enigmatic extraterrestrial civilization and used thousands of years ago by the Atlantean priests. The team that went inside the Busegi Mountains, found among other things, an amphora filled with a mysterious white powder. A sample of this white powder was analyzed by a team of American researchers. They were astonished to find that the dust was in fact an unknown crystalline structure of monoatomic gold, a derivative of gold that has in its composition an element not known on Earth. Let's see what the book Transylvanian Sunrise says about this monoatomic gold, about 10 meters past the control panel we came to a square square, outlined in material on the ground. The side of the square measured about 3 meters and its surface, perfectly smooth, was of a golden yellow color. In the middle was a small dome, with height of about 15 centimeters, with a slit in the side of the dome. The upper part, before the dome, directly on the surface of the square, was a container in the shape of A of an antique amphora, about half a meter high. The contents of the amphora are one of the highlights of the find, I. Caesar explained. Personally, I'm inclined to believe that this is what he so desperately wanted. The venerable Messini wanted for himself and the Masonic elite. The amphora had no patterns or inscriptions. You could see that it was made of metal and had no tortoise shell. The elegant lid did not allow the contents to be seen. Caesar picked it up and then, leaning forward I could discern inside a very fine, shiny white powder. Curiously, the inner walls of the amphora radiated discreetly a faint blue light, which brought out even more the almost magical glint of white powder. A sample of this powder was analyzed, Caesar explained. Researchers American researchers were dismayed to find that it represented a crystalline structure of monoatomic gold. It is a derivative of gold, which has the color bright white color and atoms placed in a two-dimensional lattice, unlike gold which is yellow in color and has atoms in a three-dimensional lattice. Monoatomic gold powder is very difficult to obtain, especially in the purity formula as presented by some ancient texts and the few authentic alchemical references from the Middle Ages. Practically speaking, Present-day science has so far been unable to obtain this extraordinary purity of monoatomic gold powder, but even then there have been incredible therapeutic effects on living tissues, especially in terms of their regenerative capacity. This is why there are still very few sources of information on the technology of obtaining monoatomic gold and from what I understand from one of American scientists, there is a lot of interest from NASA in research into this research in this direction, as huge funds have been invested. I had never heard of monoatomic gold until that moment, nor had I what it could be used for. But why are some people so interested in this powder? I asked Caesar. Did you tell Signor Messini about the existence of gold? The Venerable was informed even before he came here about the powder from Ampera. I don't know how, I don't know where the Masonic elite had such sources of information, but in they had long known of the existence of monoatomic powder in this place. I've been wondering why Senior Messini was so interested in getting possession of it. I talked to our scientists and the Americans, who seemed to be more in touch with the subject. They told me that in the form pure form, the powder greatly stimulates certain energy flows and exchanges at the cellular level and especially at the neuronal level. In other words it causes a very accelerated process of rejuvenation process. They told me that, theoretically, a person can live in the same physical body for several thousand years, provided that he consumes, at certain intervals and in certain quantities a certain amount of this powder. It is astounding and almost inconceivable for the condition and contemporary human mentality, but it explains many puzzling aspects of the history of history of mankind, linked to the incredible longevity of some important figures and also, 
sheds light on the hidden intentions of the world's Masonic elite. My gasp of surprise was gone. I remained frozen in place, waiting for further explanation from Caesar. Modern technology does not yet allow us to achieve the purity of monoatomic powder, which is necessary to trigger the general energetic process of revitalization and rejuvenation of the body. Moreover, analysis of the sample of this powder has shown that the atoms of are arranged in a planar lattice, but they are combined with atoms of another element that is not yet known on Earth. This complicates matters further, because it is not known what characteristics of the powder, other than those mentioned in ancient texts, which conservative scientists ignore completely.